I'm Dr. Andy Canops of Canops Equine. Today, we'll discuss the pre-purchase examination. Pre-purchase examinations are conducted by your veterinarian to determine the condition of the horse on that particular day and to help advise you regarding potential issues that need further identification, such as by x-rays. The pre-purchase examination can take a variety of levels, from just a general wellness physical exam, to detailed lameness evaluations, detailed imaging, and also detailed laboratory evaluations, all depending on your goals for this potential new horse. Being on site at the time of pre-purchase examination is very important. I fully understand on occasion we're half a country away from where the horse is being purchased, but good detailed communication with the veterinarian conducting the examination will help you get the most information from a pre-purchase exam. The first steps of the pre-purchase exam are to record the physical appearance of the horse, whether through photographs or drawing images of the horse, determining the age, the uh, work history of the horse, the medical history of the horse, and identifying all the individuals associated with the seller and buyer present at the time of the exam. We usually start by drawing laboratory samples and that may involve things for just general wellness such as a complete blood count and chemistry panel or may involve things like laboratory tests for uh, diseases such as equine infectious anemia. A negative EIA test is necessary for transport across state lines and is very important when a change of ownership occurs. We may also take samples for a drug screen. The drug screen isn't run necessarily on every horse, but it can be an advantage to hold samples such as this aside if at some point in the future testing is indicated. The full history of the horse is determined and recorded on the examination form and then a general physical examination is conducted. The physical examination will evaluate all the major body systems such as heart, lungs, skin, ears, eyes, mouth, and then go to a lameness examination. Again, all of these findings are recorded in detail, so they can be part of the medical record that goes to the buyer and remains as part of the horse's record. The lameness evaluation is detailed and starts with the general examination of the horse's body, full palpation of the neck, back, and limbs, evaluation of conformation, uh, evaluation of the hooves and shoeing, use of hoof testers when horses do not have pads in all four feet to determine whether or not there's foot sensitivity. Then the horse is worked in hand in a straight line on the lunge and potentially under saddle. Flexion tests are conducted and following that general examination, a assessment is made regarding the general medical conditions of the horse and the musculoskeletal conditions of the horse. And from that information, the veterinarian will consult with the buyer and determine whether or not uh, additional imaging, such as x-rays or potentially ultrasounds, be undertaken. Most horses that undergo a pre-purchase exam will have x-rays taken. And the reason we take x-rays is to look for obvious abnormalities of the bone or joints 
that may impinge on soundness. Certainly, horses that are lame at the time of the pre-purchase exam are unlikely to have x-rays taken. But we are looking for as many details as we can in most pre-purchase exams. So a good set of radiographs is very, very helpful if for no other reason than having them as a baseline as you take over a new horse. The pre-purchase examination is conducted to help you make a decision whether this horse suits the needs that you anticipate. And your veterinarian can advise you regarding the potential import of the findings and what you may expect in the future. However, the bottom line on the pre-purchase is to describe what your veterinarian is seeing on the day of examination. We don't have a crystal ball as much as we would like to, so we need to stick to the facts, and that's the goal of the pre-purchase exam. For further details on the medical portion of the exam and on the lameness exam portion, you can take a look at the videos on the SmartPak Horse Health Library.